तो वाप्रधान मोदी त्र दिवस विदेश प्रवासे जी सेवन समिट में भाग लेवा वाप्रधान मोदी पहुंचा है फ्रांस खाते महत्व जी सेवन समिट में सात देशों सभ्य है भारत सभ्य देश नहीं छता वाप्रधान मोदी ने आमंत्रण आप भारत मे गौरवपूर्ण बाबत है राष्ट्रपति डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प साथ वाप्रधान मोदी बातचीत कर रहा है महत्व है कि जी सेवन समिट में भाग लेवा वाप्रधान मोदी पहुंचा ज्या अमेरिका साथ अलग अलग मुद्दाओ पर राष्ट्रपति साथ बातचीत कर महत्व है कि वाप्रधान मोदी ने यूएई सर्वोच्च सन्म्न नवाजा बहरीन खाते वाप्रधान मोदी प्रवास कर वाप्रधान ने बहरीन सर्वोच्च एवोर्ड की सन्म्नित कराया वाप्रधान मोदी ने डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प साथ अलग अलग मुद्दाओ पर बातचीत थी जी सेवन समिट में भाग लेवा वाप्रधान मोदी ने आमंत्रित कराया था बीस ऑगस्ट वाप्रधान त्र देशों विदेश प्रवासे ज्या फ्रांस यूएई और बहरीन वाप्रधान ने प्रवास कर देशों साथ वेपार क्षेत्र पर भारत अनेक करारों कर भारत ने फायदो आ सीवाय जी सेवन समिट में वाप्रधान हाजरी आप त्यारबाद डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प साथ अलग अलग मुद्दाओ पर वाप्रधा ने बातचीत करी वाप्रधाने ज्व्यू कि ट्रम्प साथ अपनी मुलाकात घनी महत्वपूर्ण है अमेरिका की सूचना स्वागत कर कारण के अमेरिका तरफ थी अनेक सूचना कर फ्रांस में आज वाप्रधान मोदी और डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प साथ अनेक मुद्दाओं ने लई बातचीत थी त्रो सित्तर कलम हटाया बाद प्रथम वक्त ट्रम्प साथ वाप्रधा ने मुलाकात करी वाप्रधान मोदी कहूं कि ट्रम्प साथ अमारी मुलाकात घनी महत्वपूर्ण है अमेरिका सूचना स्वागत करे फ्रांस में पीएम मोदी और डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प वे मुलाकात थी ज्यानेक मुद्दाओं ने लैने बातचीत कर खास कर विश्व में जो मंदिर माहौल है आतंकवाद जेवाक मुद्दाओं ने लैने वाप्रधान दुनिया के किसी भी देश को इनके लिए कष्ट नहीं देते हैं और मुझे विश्वास है कि भारत और पाकिस्तान जो 1947 के पहले एक ही थे हम मिलजुल करके हमारी समस्याओं पर चर्चा भी कर सकते हैं और समाधान भी कर सकते हैं ट्रांसफॉर्म 
mean, it'll be monetarily transformed. It's such a difference between the horrible, horrible one-sided deals that we had in the past. And frankly, past administrations should be ashamed of themselves for allowing that. But we have many of them. One of them is the USMCA, Mexico, Canada. And hopefully that'll get uh, voted on very quickly. Everybody wants it to happen, so hopefully we can make that a bipartisan deal. But we have many trade deals that are doing very well, and including China. And I think it was necessary to go through this, uh, you would say, a rough patch, but I'd say maybe much more than a rough patch. But that's okay, because we've been paid billions and billions of dollars. And you know that prices haven't gone up, and there's been no inflation. And we've put a lot of money in the Treasury, and uh, you know, tens of billions of dollars. And I've given a lot of it to the farmers that were hurt. I've been able to give a lot of money, compliments of China, to the farmers that were hurt, because they were, we gave them 16 billion, and we gave them 12 billion the year before. That made them whole. That was the amount of money that China didn't invest in our, to our farmers, give to our farmers. So, the farmers have been amazing, but they're very happy with the job we're doing. But eventually, they're going to be the biggest, or one of the biggest beneficiaries, okay? Mr. President, did you, did you attend the climate session? Say it. Did you uh, make it to the climate session? Were there any conclusions that you should bring? I'm going to. In fact, it's going to be our next session. So we haven't had it. Do you have a message that you'd like to deliver to? No, I want clean air and clean water. And we're right now having the cleanest air and cleanest water on the planet. But that's what I want. I want absolutely clean air. Water. Mr. President, just briefly back on China. We saw the comments from you about wanting calm. Um, calm. Calm, exactly. Just wondering if you can clarify what you meant about the call. Was that with my I, I don't want to talk about calls. We've had calls. We've had calls at the highest levels. But last I don't want to talk about that. Night that but the call. vice chairman put out a statement last night that was a statement and saying that he wants to make a deal and he wants calm. And I think it's a very good word to use, calm. It's not a word that I use that often. But it's a good word to use. And I think it's one of the reasons that's a great country. I mean, they understand. I think that that message also helps with respect to Hong Kong. I really do. I think it makes it easier for Hong Kong to do something. And I think that President Xi will do something with Hong Kong. I really think that message is a good message with respect to what the ultimate outcome is in Hong Kong. Very, very positive message, and uh, we appreciated it. We appreciated it. What else? Anything else? Mr. Tr uh, Mr. President, what are your uh, your latest thoughts on your threat on pulling out of the WTO? And if you do, can I also ask Mr. President Modi what your response to that in, in, in terms of how it affect India's trade strategy? Well, we haven't been happy with the WTO, but now we're winning cases. We won the big Airbus cases, you know. Uh, it's a tremendous case, and it's uh, billions of dollars. That was a very recent victory, and we're winning cases now. And we're being treated more fairly now in the WTO, which we appreciate. He actually speaks very good English, we just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I think that uh, uh, you should uh, let us uh, discuss these things, and when we feel need, we will communicate to you. Mr. President, Russia uh, has just recently said they have no intention of asking um, to be readmitted uh, to the G7. Uh, however, no, I wouldn't expect they'd ask, because why would he's a proud man? He's done a, a real job, and why would he ask? No, it's something we discussed. And it's under discussion now, no votes or anything. But uh, I would be inclined to say yes, and so would others. And some probably wouldn't be, but it's just a discussion. No, I would think that he wouldn't do that because he's a proud man. He wouldn't ask. But uh, if something would happen, he would be asked. And I, I'm sure he would say yes to that. Do you have any indication from them that they would accept? No, I, I think it was a very good discussion. It was the initial discussion, but it was a very good discussion. But I think it would be appropriate. I think it, was, it would be good for Russia. I think it would be good for everybody. I think it would, it would be a positive. But it's just a discussion that we had. It was a very interesting discussion and, and very uh, pretty even. I think ultimately people like the idea. Mr. President, 
President, what would be your message to the American people in terms of what is your biggest achievement at this G7? Well, we've had a lot of achievements. Uh, we have an achievement with Prime Minister Modi because we're doing great trade. We're doing a lot of trade with India. That's an achievement. I think, obviously, the Japan deal is a tremendous achievement because it's one of the biggest trade deals and it affects directly our farmers. Even the fact that he's taking all of the excess corn that China didn't take. It's of millions of dollars worth of corn, and he's buying that. Japan is buying all of that corn at a fair price. And, uh, you know, that was great. So that was very important. I also think that unity is very important. You know, we had a very good, despite the, the newspaper stories, the, the stories bear no resemblance to what's taking place. You saw me with Chancellor Merkel. You saw me with all of them. We had, the relationship is great. We have seven nations. In addition to that, we have other nations like India, and others that came in. Australia came in, Scott. We have a lot of people came in. And I'll tell you, that it's been total unity. Uh, what would be the area no of most unity, There's been sir. no dissension. And there's been no fights or arguments. There's been no, no anything. I mean, we have, there's been great unity here. And honestly, the papers haven't reported how Good it's been. So what would be your most common ground? You know, is it climate change? Is it gender no, equality? I think we have a lot of things, but I think really the unity, the the, uh, the fact that we're all getting along so well, I think is one of the big takes from this. We really have good relationships, and we're doing a lot about a lot. Okay? Just so we get our reporting right, I'm going to give it one more crack on China. When you were referring earlier to the blue statements which we all saw, did you mean to say that there was also a call last night, or was there not actually a call last night? There were discussions that went back and forth, and let's just leave it at that. Last night, and last before last night. Yes. Which yeah. time? Last, which time? And before last night. Numerous. Look, they want to get something done. I've been saying that for a long reason. And wh why, why wouldn't they? They want to get something done. They've lost millions of jobs. Their supply chains are being hurt. And once those supply chains go, you can develop new supply chains, you can't get them back into China. So China is, is run by really a great leader. I think he's a great leader. He wants to do something. They lost over 3 million jobs in a very short period of time. A lot of companies have left China and they're leaving China. They want to get it done. I knew that. I could have told you that without talking, but we are talking. And would you still like to see U.S. companies in China? Depends on whether or not we make a deal. If we don't make a deal, I'd like to see them leave China. Absolutely. If we make a deal, I'd like to see them stay there and do a great job. Mr. President, on the Afghanistan peace talks, do you have an updated timeline? Or are there any snacks? No timeline. Whatever it is. We're, no rush. I mean, we're there. We're really a peacekeeping force more than anything else, frankly. And uh, so we could win that war in a very short period of time, but I'm not looking to kill 10 million people. Okay? And we are uh, working along with the Taliban, with the government, and other people too. And we'll see what happens. No time left. Thank you very much. We're, we're going to be doing a news conference in a little while. So. Just one more thing. Just if one you need one, do you need one? I don't think you need one. one. I, mean, I can't imagine any other question. Yeah, I just want to thank uh, the Prime Minister. He's a great leader right here. Would you, would you allow him to have nuclear weapons? Great election result. Thank would you, you allow him to have nuclear weapons, sir? Thank you, Press. Thank, thank you, Press. Would you allow India to have nuclear weapons? Thank, thank you, Press. Thank you. Thank you, Press. Thank you, Press. Thank you. 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 कलम त्रोण सौ सीतेर हटाया बाद प्रथम वक्त डोनाल्ड ट्रम्प साथे वड़ा प्रधानी आ पहले मुलाकात जहाँ त्रोण सौ सीतेर कलम हटाया पर चर्चा थई चे तेरे वड़ा प्रधाने पर कहीं उचे के पाकिस्तान साथे बातचीत करिए न्यास समस्यानु समाधान लागू शुरू